What's shaking, coffee lovers? Today, I've got another review from Volcanica Coffee Company. This big coffee brand that you may have seen before, perhaps in one of my other reviews, sent me two bags of coffee. One was from Costa Rica, the Pea Berry, which I previously reviewed, and today's review is the Kenya AA. And the differences are obviously the origin, primarily. I mean, we're talking about Costa Rica versus Kenya. AA grade beans are often touted by coffee professionals as the ones you want. They're bigger, and oftentimes people think bigger is better, but that may not necessarily be true in this case because, just to be blunt, I found that this coffee was totally over roasted like every Kenya AA or every Kenyan coffee I've had traditionally at least the ones that come from specialty coffee companies or micro roasters tend to be roasted more or less on the lighter side this one was pretty dark uh, medium dark roast I would say if we're being generous but I know a lot of people would probably think that this was just straight up a dark roast. Now, as to how it tasted, I had mixed results. They weren't as good as my results with the Costa Rica pea berry. Uh, I'll just start off with my favorite. So my favorite brew method for the Kenya AA was actually espresso. I picked up notes of cherry and chocolate and I thought for the most part it was pretty forgiving and drinkable. For drip coffee, even you know, being as roasted as it was, it was relatively smooth, drinkable, as I, as I mentioned for espresso. It didn't have anything really super unpleasant about it, although it wasn't particularly complex, at least not as complex as what I was getting out of the espresso experience. And then my least favorite and the easiest to over extract was through my American press, which you see here. And I think, you know, my hunch is that a lot of these full immersion methods wouldn't do so well with this coffee. And if you were to give it a try, I would say that you probably want to stay within the realms of drip methods and potentially espresso. But ultimately, I would say that this isn't a coffee I would buy again. Again, I didn't dislike it, but no, that was a double negative. I did not dislike it, but that doesn't mean I liked it, if that makes any sense. So. Thank you so much for watching. If you have tried Volcanica Kenya AA, let me know what you think by leaving a comment below, and I'll see you in the next coffee review. Peace.